Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another Q&A session. So, I'm on time this time. <laughs> Alright, so I've collected a bunch of questions from you guys for this month of June for this Q&A session. And I think this is going to be an interesting one because I'll be revealing a lot of stuff that is not yet revealed, I guess, in some way. Right, so without further ado, let's get on with the Q&A session. Okay, so for first question, I'm not going to bring up any... Uh, names on the screen right because there is so many so many people that ask me this one all right so um, I'm just gonna address the question that those people that those people that ask me regarding this new um, exclusive diamond seal draw right the Pili puppet theater uh, series all right so uh, number one is it worth it or um, is their skills just justifiable blah 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 etc etc all right so First and foremost, I would say this seal, um, it definitely is definitely not as strong as the um, Imperial Warlords, right? I would still say Guan Yu um, is still more versatile compared to this uh, entire uh, exclusive seal, right? But nonetheless, uh, it is good to obtain these few cards because number one they are of different play styles right so why did I say different play style is because um, other than talking about uh, the possibility of a mono mono attribute card right you have to take in consideration of the race as well right so uh, we have of course we have uh, the three jackpot cards right the three rare cards in this case which are uh, which is one one of them would, would be the mono uh the water human playstyle a uh, water human card right which is a mono water playstyle and then the other one the other two jackpot cards would be uh complementary of each other right the light human and dark human right yesu as well as yes yao chai so um these two work together, right? That we'll put that aside first. The water one, right? I, I'm not sure what's the name yet, right? But the water human one, uh, for me, I would say that's the real jackpot card for me, right? In my personal opinion, right? Because water, this particular attribute, right, is lacking. I would say lacking a bit of um, playstyle, right? Uh, in terms of race. Right, uh, water. There is a lot of um, god race. There's a lot of demon race for leader. Right, you don't see a lot of water human leaders around. And we're talking about a mono water team setup. Right, so we're not gonna include Guan Yu in this case. So we have. Let's take a look at the general mainstream strong water cards. Right, Margaret is really pretty much very much out of the meta already uh, we have Abraham God okay we have the wedding series the water Yancy God okay we have um, Azazel demon right so there is a lot of God and demon kind of um, leader for water right you, you do not have a lot of um, other attrib uh, other races cut right like um, uh, human and um, human most of the time Right, so uh, by having a water human card, it expands that um, the playstyle in terms of the water attribute, right? Because nowadays we have a lot of demon, uh, god and demon kind of uh, races shield thing, right? And then let's say you need a water attribute setup as an achievement, right? Uh, it's just gonna mess up the whole <laughs> your whole strategy if you are missing certain cards, right? So water card is definitely a, a must for me to get, right? The ESU and Yes Yao Chai playstyle is gonna be a new uh, Michael Lucifer kind of playstyle, alright? So it's gonna be quite versatile, I would say, because it is including light and dark instead of one attribute, right? So there is a possible uh, there's a bit of versatility there, right? Other than the fact that we have to fit just three light and three dark, you can't have like four light, uh, four light, two dark kind of thing. So that's just a bit 
of restriction, right? But overall, I think this seal is quite worth it to draw, right? It's gonna. I feel this seal is gonna last. The cards in this seal is gonna last for quite a while. I'm talking about the bonus cards, right? Not the entire series, right? It's gonna last a while before it actually dies down, right? So, worthy to draw? Yes. Is it OP? It's not OP, but it's definitely, uh, it definitely expands your playstyle if you're going for a lot of those kind of achievement, um, in the future, right? Moving on to the next question. <laughs> Alright, so next question is gonna be a quite a big chunk of question right here, right? So by Yuan Hao asking, uh, any thoughts on Mad Hit associating one game after another Crash Fever and in this Chinese game? Uh, do you feel that Crash Fever isn't treated well since this Chinese game collaboration immediately had a new um, seal draw? Right, then also about the human Michael Lucifer, which is Ye Xiao Chai, okay? I thought Mad Hit wants to stray away from the ML Luna playstyle, right? So why can't they? Why aren't they willing to nerf Michael Lucifer instead of digging deeper into the genre of playstyle? Right, so lastly, do you find uh, what do you think of the new voice skill activation? Right? Personally, I find it a bit cringy and funny. <coughs> okay, so there's li um, three questions to answer here. <laughs> so first and foremost, uh, is Mad Hit not treating Crash Fever well? Right? So to be honest, I think that it's not. Right? Because basically, collaboration... Um, you have to see whether it's a big collaboration or is it a small collaboration, right? So, uh, we do have small collaboration that, that just come and go pretty quickly uh, in the past. Right? One very good example is Clash of Kings. Right? We have this bi-weekly battle, we have a few ultimate stages, and then a guild event based on the Clash of King team. That's all. Right, and then the collaboration is over. Right, so this is pretty much the same as Crash Fever. Right, bi-weekly ultimate stage come, come and go, and then that's the end of the, the collaboration. Right, so if you guys actually played Crash Fever, right, the the event, the TOS event that lasted, oh, that that's oh, um that is going on in the game at Crash Fever site, right, lasted as long as the Crash Fever event in TOS. Right, so it it is actually very balanced. Uh, in terms of their collaboration, right? So it's not any sort of biasness or whatsoever. Alright, so second question about the human ML playstyle. Alright, so one thing that I need to clarify uh, to correct uh, you is that Mad Hate is not actually straying away from the Michael Lucifer Luna playstyle, right? I don't think they actually mentioned that, right? Although they did mention that they accidentally made Michael Lucifer a bit too OP, right? They themselves agree on that one, right? I <laughs> because I actually asked them about it. Right, so uh yeah. So uh on that part where you ask that why aren't they willing to nerf Michael Lucifer? Right? So that um this kind of nerfing, right? Buffing is okay, right? Everybody's happy with buff <laughs> because they literally make the cut better. Right? So Nerfing a card is a very sensitive issue, right? Especially if the nerf is too severe, it's gonna cause like a a, a riot among the, the community, right? So um I won't say Michael Lucifer is too OP to a point that he needs a nerf, alright? Mad Hate just need to consider um their skill, active skill of demons whenever they release it. Right, those cards that they release that are of demon races, right? Because Michael Lucifer literally absorbed every the attacks of demons totally, right? Regardless of attribute, right? So this this is why um you don't really see a lot of OP demon leaders around because it's gonna break the game because of the Michael Lucifer active skill, right? So uh, I'm quite sure. Mad Hate is not gonna nerf Michael Lucifer because that's gonna cause a lot of unhappiness among the players, right? They just have to um, control the amount of um, damage multiplier given to demon cards in the future. Right, so last but not least, yes, definitely I feel cringy about the new voice activation, but it's, it's unique, right? We don't have such a thing in the future and we can pretty much um, expect 
better voice skill activation in the future if there's other cards that you know have such a thing yeah so why not right it's a new uh kind of feature in the game right so with this let's move on to the next question okay so next question comes from natty so since um there is some sort of bloody ridiculous sm stage like like that okay <laughs> you think madhead will release this kind of stage again if so would you contact madhead stuff once and for all right also have you played lineage 2 revolution i found it kind of cool okay so uh if i did not interpret your question wrongly right so you're referring to stages that are ridiculously crazy in terms of difficulty all right that me myself rage at okay <laughs> so if they release such a stage again where I contact Madhead staff. Okay, so first and foremost, the stage are at that level of difficulty. Um, sometimes it's not justifiable because of the the card skill, right? It's such a shit card, but they release at such a difficult stage, right? But nonetheless, it is a stage that Madhead created to test us, right? So Madhead never emphasized, uh, never. Um, and force us to farm any cards, right? So if it's a one-time clear kind of thing, good for you, right? So if you want to farm through this crazy difficult stage that is not justifiable on a crap card, right? That is your choice to farm, right? So it's not really like Mad Hate's fault, right? So, and on top of that, it is challenging, right? You, you we need some sort of challenge um, every now and then, right? If not, TOS is just gonna be, you know, every time I make a video, it's like, oh, okay, you do this, you do that, and then you clear, very simple, right? Um, there is definitely a need to have this kind of stage every now and then, right? Although, I hate going through that moment, okay? So, anyway, Lineage 2 Revolution is a mobile game. So, at this point of time, I have too many stuff to, to work on, right? Um, I have my school that takes up pretty much a lot of my time at this, at this moment right? the only mobile game I play is TOS Oneric Tales Crash Fever that's all right? I cannot afford to put in any more times on other mobile games right? so for PC game pretty much just Overwatch right? my time is I, I just have this much time that's, <laughs> I can't pretty much log in another game Right, so with this, let's move on to another question. Alright, so next question comes from Stephen Chow asking if Madhead implemented an idea where after the 9th or 10th seal or so, we will, we will access to another world that has the resemble of the main world TOS, which is the tower at the center and then the 5 attribute of each island separately, but with more story, stages, challenges, slash difficulty and gameplay style. Do you think it's a good or bad idea and why? Okay, so... I had this thought, all right. It's like a it's like a mirror mirror world, right? Right, like um, everything's the same, but the the I would say the difficulty is like one one notch higher, something like that, all right. So I think it's a bit um, cliche, right? Like a lot of games has been doing that, like oh the mirror world is exactly the same just that the monsters get it's like the e it's like the evil side I don't know something like that right so I would say TOS won maybe but to me I think it's not they're not gonna do it and they're just gonna pretty much expand what they have on the map right so personally what I think is after the nice seal, we're literally at the hall of heaven, right? You can't, <laughs> you can't scroll up anymore, right? So, uh, the whole TOS story is about the gods and the demons having the war and stuff like that, right? So, that's the god part. Where's the demon part, right? Uh, our seal bosses till now is literally all gods, if you think about it. Except Yogg Sothoth, which, um, strangely, I don't know how she fit into the story. <laughs> okay, so 
this uh one seal two seal three seal four five four up to new nihok they are just like the the gatekeepers of the tower right and then after that is the real the big the big guys right so i would say they might continue the story that reveals more of the human human race or the demon race that's that's what i want right so if they were to make this mirror thing as what you say it's gonna be a very very long story right imagine going through all the islands again it's a lot of work for me <laughs> there's a ton of videos to do all right so <clears throat> nonetheless no matter what madhead do it's still an expansion of the tos story and that is i think something that we all look forward to all right so Tensil is coming out very soon all right madhead said that said so all right so that's all the news i have we just have to look forward to it next question i'm sorry okay i can't review too much because it is all you know under development and stuff like that things may change so yeah anyways next question isaac wong asking have you ever tried to do any extra stage blindly right so uh memories traveler of course so yes obviously right there is a lot of times that i just enter evidently there there, there is this battle info somewhere but it's, there's just this thrill to enter the stage blindly and then by chance maybe just complete the extra like yeah but then the new pili puppet series is insanely difficult right i died like ten thousand times already and then which is why you don't see any extra stage um videos on my channel as of now because i have not cleared it okay so it's i'll try my best to upload it very soon meaning that i will have to attempt the extras again which means farming 10 pieces of whatever that thing is called <laughs> and yeah definitely did like a lot of stages blindly and then try out the stage for you guys before i do any upload okay next gina chong asking we talk a lot about new cards and series getting more and more op but what are the old cards and series do you think that we stood the test of time do you think they're still relevant 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 in the foreseeable future all right so this depends on what kind of series you're talking about for the old cards all right so uh Mehe has gone through one cycle of um active skill revamp for old cards right you can see like um the fate sisters the dark fate sister got a uh, skill revamp there is several other cards that got their cd reduced right so that's a buff to their active skill um some of them had their amelioration change right Th these are the few that i can remember uh but uh most um obvious one would be norse gods right norse god has been constantly being buffed being buffed to um you know to match them with um now the current meta i would say right so there there will be a series that will still um be relevant right despite it being old cards right so uh it depends how mainstream the card is right so like norse god they are a major series of the of the tos um, game right so they want to make it as relevant make them relevant as long as possible right so for those mini little like series let's say uh paladins like uh let's say the chinese beast right like great schema of dark archimandra of dark archimandra of light these cards is pretty much going to go into extinction because they are definitely they, they have undergone power release <laughs> so there's nothing much to to buff them right and then it is more i would say for mad hit is gonna be more um it's better for them to come out with new cards than to figure out how to deal with all these old cards right because we only we have to look forward right some cards are just pretty much dead you can't do much about it right so major card yes maybe they'll buff right so for those cards that are the the, the minority right we can pretty much forget about it wait 
Alright, so this one is a very sensitive question. I'm not sure whether I should answer it or not. <laughs> okay, so is it possible that TOS will um, co collaborate with Chronos Gate before Chronos Gate closed? So if it's possible, do you think they'll make a Chronos Gate playstyle into the, the dra Dragonary Craft? Right, so uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Right, um, I knew since last year, right, the news only came out not too long ago, right? It came up, uh, but I knew since last year that Chronos Gate is dead, right? Because the entire, I won't say the entire group, the, the, those people that are working with Chronos Gate has moved on to work with Onaric Tales, right? And then uh, Chronos Gate is just left there to kind of rot. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I remember I was at this Malaysia event, right? This um, gathering event where Terry and Terence was there, right? So, uh, as as you as we all know, right? Like Terry, we usually refer Terry to the the, the one that is in charge of TOS, and then Terence is the one that in charge of Chronos Gate, right? So when Chronos Gate is seems to be dying, seems to be dying off, right? It's a very sensitive issue to go and ask them like hey how's Chronos Gate doing you know not a good idea <laughs> to do that right so um so at that point of time they they have already shown me the prototype of Onaric Tail like how is it gonna be and stuff like that blah 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 uh yeah that is really a sign that Chronos Gate there, there is not much contents uh for Chronos Gate so I don't think they're gonna collab uh, for TOS right that's very unfortunate right so personally I have invested a bit of time stones in Chronos Gate so it's it's quite sad to see it not continue right so anyway let's let's not talk about this <laughs> anymore and move on to the next question all right so at this TOS meta do you think that mono attribute team race restriction or not is better than hybrid team water fire earth or light and dark all right so uh, personally I feel that the only viable hybrid team right is that one attribute possess effect of another attribute at hundred percent right like let's say um um honda team right light equal light equal water water equal light right like the new pili puppet series the esu and yes yao chai light equal dark dark equal light right so uh it is only viable at that point because um you can pretty much dissolve two um, attributes and having the same damage multiplier. Right? This works with Dread team as well because we have Fury. Fury, when you dissolve Earth, right? Earth possess uh, effects of all the attributes. So that actually give a very high burst despite the, the number of um, attributes in your team. So that's, that's what I feel. Right? If not, it's going to be a very unbalanced a very unbalanced um, damage distribution right which is gonna break the team somehow right so hybrid team uh, is the way to go if one attribute possess effect of a hundred percent effect of another attribute okay next Kotori asks do you think when when do you think will be the next black card draw right personally I wish this never existed right the next card Right, this this is this is is this confidential? <laughs> okay, so um, the next card um, have already undergone testing, right? And it's gonna be very it's gonna be out very soon, right? Exact date I am not very sure, but uh, we can I can just predict that in two two weeks to a month time, right? It's gonna be out. Uh, yeah, any changes to the active skill and leader skill, I am not very sure, right? All I know that is they have undergone, that card have undergone testing, and it should be out anytime soon. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the Q&A session, right? Uh, I think there is pretty much a lot of um, info that you guys have obtained, right? Which is pretty much, I would say, slightly confidential. Alright, so uh, at least I did not leak like the full thing. If not, I'm gonna be in deep trouble. <laughs> but you know what's going on, 
right in the upcoming week or so right so anyways i have one announcement to do so i'll be releasing a mailing address on my um, gaming page all right so any of you guys who want to send like gifts or letter to me you can uh, send it to me via that mailing address all right and then if i collect enough maybe you can do like a opening video like a mail time kind of video all right on the channel if if there is like one whole chunk of it all right so anyway yeah that will be it so once again thank you guys for sending in all the questions right it's really really very fun to read all the kind of questions tos related or not right funny questions and stuff like that <laughs> right so uh do keep them coming in right if you guys uh if i did not pick your questions right um and you really want me to answer them do leave it down in the comment section in the upcoming q a session right so with this leave a like if you enjoyed this q a session and then i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye